This is Premier One's new solar energizer, you were saying? Yeah, right. So this is um, our all-in-one solar unit. We have three options of this. We have a 0.3, a 0.6, and a 1.2 joule yep. uh, unit. Um, everything's integrated, so solar panels on it, and you can adjust the angle. We have some preset angles here on the side. Okay, awesome. So that you can have, uh, depending on light availability, and yep. seasonal light availability. And it comes with the battery and everything like water. Though. Yeah, and so inside the case is the battery and also the ground rod, which is also a uh, integrated stand yep. and um, a, char a recharger for the battery when you know, it runs low in the winter. So you take the take the ground rod out. Yep. This is the part that I think is really cool. The ground rod is your spike. Now go ahead, show us how you... Yeah, so basically we attach this to the base of the unit here and just slide it into place. Here like this, yep. and then this ground's pretty hard, but uh, I'll try to give it a good, a good shove here. Um, shoves it into the ground, and then we'd clip the leads from the uh, ground and the positive here. The ground would go to the clip, yep. and the red would go to our fence, we'll go which to your is fence. Uh, set up here. And then you just got your on-off yep. button just here. Just turn it on, and uh, we're good to go. So, yep. And that's going to light. Blinking green for you. Yep. So that's just going to show that it's got a charge and it's uh, fully charged. Now, if it's not grounding good, does it do anything different? I think we get a, a green red flash in that case that okay, indicates so that's, something's that's wrong. You got to probably put the spikes in the ground deeper. Well, that or you may need more grounding. So, depending on your soil, we're up here in New England and the ground's pretty lush, the green vegetation, not so maybe much in the south in Texas. Yep. So, you might, uh, you can always use an external ground rod. Okay. Uh, you know, down there we might recommend a ground rod that's 18 inches or three feet deep. Yep. So, I think well, from what I understand, the wetter the ground, the better. It is for grounding. It yeah. grounds better. But it's wet. As long, the other downside is along the fence line, you want to try to keep that grass off that bottom, bottom strand. Right. And so, in that event, uh, you need more energizer power yep. to be able to handle that, or you need to be able to control those weeds on the ground, you know, right. with our herbicide, or uh, if you want to go in a natural way, do some a, a strip of vinegar okay. to, to kill the, the grass. To kill the grass, so you can yeah. sigh before it or weed whack. Yeah, or yeah, obviously keep it mowed or keep it right. weed whacked down. Now this will keep away bears and bigger predators, you think? Absolutely. So this puts out uh, 8,000 volts, and then what you want to do is be able to measure three to 4,000 at the end of the fence. Three to 4,000 at the end. Uh, yeah. 8,000 up here, yeah. and you want to get three to four. Right. So when, that's going to depend on weed load right. or the length of the fence. Yep. There's a variety of factors. So if you have three or four volts at the other end, you're, you're good, good to get. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Thank you.